My name is Chip with Cultivate Hydroponic Supply and CultivateColorado.com. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to jack it! Wait, wait, what? So we've all seen these huge plants online, these huge flowers, and so many of you have asked us and wonder how to get it. And the way you have to do it is you have to pump it up. You gotta feed it fertilizer. So many people think that when small plants only need light fertilizer, it's totally untrue. You have got to jack it from the very beginning in order to get those monster plants that you see on YouTube and in all the magazines. And I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Hold up. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need an EC meter of some type. Now, this Blue Lab is one of our favorites, and it goes from EC to PPM. You can choose whichever one you want. This other one does pH and EC, so it's also a great meter, but uh, whatever your preference is. You're gonna read on maybe Front Row Ag. They'll tell you in similar directions that I'm gonna give you, but other, other people might not do it so well. You're gonna wanna really run this at three EC, which seems a little high, but right at the very beginning, right when you transplant your plants, and I'm telling you, you're not gonna burn your plants. As long as you feed it this high quality fertilizer, use an EC meter, th feed it 3.0, and then you gradually drop it down gradually drop it down. Now, we like 1.8 is a primary EC reading, no matter what fertilizer you're using or what supplements you're using. Another way people like to jack it. Can everyone please stop saying that? Is they have their normal fertilizer strength and then they'll put in a bloom enhancer like this PK or maybe this Moab. Now these are great products and there's two ways people primarily use this. The most common way people use is they, they use it at the end of the flower cycle, like week five or six. And there's instructions on the side on how to use this for week five or six and just follow the instructions to be fine. My preferred way is to use this earlier in flowering and use it at day one of flowering and day 21 of flowering and really boost it up. Use it at its highest strength that's listed on the instructions and you're gonna get the best results. If you're scared of jacking your plants. I am scared. I, I use this analogy all the time. If you've ever seen a fat baby or a fat little kid, they're happy as can be and they're eating everything they want and that's what you need to do to your plants. If you want them to get huge and fat, you have to feed it. And it doesn't matter if you use an organic or synthetic nutrients to do this, but you really gotta get the food in there day one. And man, this is a common nurseryman's technique is to get all the food into your pot as soon as you can. And then as the plant gets older and older, you use less and less. Exactly opposite of what many of you think is to get the plant to its full size and then jack it. The plant actually digests the nutrients, the medium that the plant is growing with buffers that digestion. And it's really important to get all that nutrition in the media and then the plant pulls it up however it wants. So hey, thanks for joining me today. Cultivate Colorado, Cultivate Hydroponics. Check us out online, join us, subscribe and comment.